Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Skarim Zimik. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Thursday, the 7th of January. India's Health Minister reviews preparedness for second COVID-19 vaccination dry run. Terrorist incidents in Pakistan contrary government's claims of establishing peace, says PDM chief. And Taliban says Doha agreement key to resolve Afghanistan conflict. And now for all the details, Indian Health Minister Harsh Vardhan on Thursday held a meeting with Health Minister of States and Union Territories a day before the nationwide COVID-19 vaccine dry run. He announced that the two COVID-19 vaccines in India are on the verge of being available across the country and that efforts are being done to ensure seamless last mile delivery of the vaccines. India's Health Minister Harshvardhan on Thursday held a video conference with health ministers of all the states and union territories ahead of COVID-19 vaccine rollout across the country. The health minister asked the state authorities to be prepared for the nationwide dry run on January 8 and announced that COVID-19 vaccines, Covishield by Serum Institute of India and Bharat Biotech's Covaxin are on the verge of being available in the country and that efforts are to ensure seamless last mile delivery of the vaccines. The first dry run for COVID-19 vaccination was conducted by all states and union territories on 2nd of January. A second dry run will take place on January 8 in all districts of the country. Two vaccines, which are called Covishield and Covaxin, have come to the country for the country. And our goal is that without any difficulty, without any difficulty, which we call seamless, लास्ट माइल डिलीवरी इन वैक्सीन्स की हम सारे देश में उस स्थान तक पहुंचा दें जहां पर हमको अपने फर्स्ट फेज के अंदर हमारे को किस प्रकार से जो अपने प्रायोरिटी ग्रुप्स हैं उनको वैक्सीनेशन देना है Meanwhile, transportation of COVID-19 vaccine is to begin in two, three days as government has allowed passenger aircraft to transport vaccines. Western Pune city will be central hub from where vaccine distribution will take place. 41 destinations across the country have been finalized for delivery of the vaccines. Thousands of farmers took out a tractor march on Thursday on the outskirts of Indian capital New Delhi as part of their ongoing protest against new farm laws that liberalize agriculture sector. This comes as an eight round of talks between farmer unions and the government is scheduled to take place on Friday to resolve the impasse. Thousands of farmers on tractors occupied a stretch of an expressway on the periphery of the Indian capital New Delhi on Thursday in one of the biggest shows of strength since they began a sit-in more than a month ago against new farm laws that liberalize agriculture sector. The farmers said the rally was a way to build pressure on the government in the lead-up to India's Republic Day on January 26, when the farm unions have threatened to march on to the centre of the capital if the laws are not revoked by then. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government has held several rounds of talks with the farmers, offering concessions on the three laws, but the farmers have resisted the overtures. Tractor rally real और 26 तारीख की ये तैयारी है किसम से। Farmers who have been camping at Delhi's border since late November fear that the deregulation will eventually replace government-regulated wholesale markets, where they are guaranteed a minimum support price for their produce. The government says the state-regulated market yards will continue alongside the new ones and has offered to give written assurances that the farmers will continue to get a minimum price. 
on Friday the two sides are scheduled to sit down for another round of talks to resolve the impasse In news from Pakistan Chief of Pakistan Democratic Movement Maulana Fazlur Rahman has said recent killing of Hazara coal miners in Balochistan has showed that the government's claims of having established peace were wrong Rahman accused Prime Minister Imran Khan led government of having ruined peace and the country's economy Pakistan Democratic Movement or PDM's president Maulana Mazlur Rahman while referring to the killing of Hazara coal miners has said that the recent incident showed that the government's claims of having established peace were wrong addressing a PDM rally in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa's Banu district Rahman accused Imran Khan led government of having ruined peace and the country's economy and claimed that there was no system in the tribal areas The 11 coal miners were killed while four others were seriously injured on January 3 after terrorists belonging to Islamic State opened fire on them at the Mach coal field in Balochistan. Main kehta hu dehshatgardi ke khilaf agar fauj ne qurbani di hai to humne bhi qurbani di hai is awam ne bhi qurbani di hai aur ab batao अगर दहशतगर्दी मौजूद है तो फिर तुम्हारे दावे गलत हैं द किलिंग ऑफ हजारा कोल माइनर्स इज बीइंग हेवीली क्रिटिसाइज्ड बाय द ओपोजिशन एंड द कम्युनिटी इज स्टेजिंग अ कंटीन्यूअस सिट एंड प्रोटेस्ट इन क्वेटा टू डिमांड जस्टिस हजारास हैव रिफ्यूज्ड टू बरी द बॉडीज ऑफ द डिकीज्ड अंटिल पीएम इमरान खान मीट्स देम खान वाल एक्सप्रेसिंग हिज इनएबिलिटी टू विजिट द प्रोटेस्टर्स हैज अर्ज्ड देम टू बरी द बॉडीज एंड प्रॉमिस्ड ही वुड विजिट देम वेरी सून Moving on, a protest was recently held by locals in Gilgit, Baluchistan, against rising high-handedness of police in the illegally occupied region. The protesters expressed resentment over an incident in which police guards allegedly beat up a local taxi driver for demanding compensation after the government vehicle hit his car. Scores of locals in Gilgit, Baluchistan, held a protest recently against the rising high-handedness of police forces in the illegally occupied region. The protesters highlighted the incident of a taxi driver who they said was brutally beaten up by the policemen for asking for compensation after the government vehicle hit and damaged his taxi. The protesters said they were earlier assured by authorities that the policemen who were guards of the assistant commissioner of Jaglod area would be arrested but no action had been taken so far. Woh jo mazroom hai jo mazroob hai usko insaaf dilaya jaye yahan par gundagardi aur badmashi bureaucracy ki taraf se nahi chalni chahiye ye ek puraman ilaka hai uttar se jo bureaucracy jo aa rahi hai wo hamare sath Delhi mein jaise suluk kar rahi hai ये जो हमारे एक भाई इसका ताल्लुक मेजर से हो गिलगित से हो किसी भी एरिया से गिलगित बल्दिस्तान से किसी जगह से ये सेक्टेरियन वायलेंस या सेक्टेरियन बेस नहीं है ये मामले जो है बिल्कुल शफाफ तरीके से जुडिशल कमीशन उसके ऊपर बैठना चाहिए एक्टिविस्ट हैव लॉन्ग ब्लेम्ड दैट पुलिस यूजेस ब्रूट फोर्स अगेंस्ट इंडिविजुअल्स हु रेस देयर वॉइसेस फॉर देयर बेसिक राइट्स इन द इलीगली ऑक्युपाइड रीजन Locals have to often take to the streets collectively to express their ire at the corridors of power in Islamabad. In news from Afghanistan, the Taliban on Wednesday said that the US Taliban agreement signed in February last year provides a good and effective plan to settle the conflict in Afghanistan. The remarks come as the Afghan government and Taliban insurgents are set to begin next round of talks for peace from Saturday. The Taliban spokesperson Mohammad Naeem on Wednesday said that the US Taliban agreement provides a good and effective plan to settle the conflict in Afghanistan. In a series of tweets Naeem said continuation of diplomacy provides a good path to settle down the disputes. Taliban is firmly committed to the Doha agreement and expect the opponent side to demonstrate the same spirit he said. The remarks came a day after the negotiating teams of the Afghan government and the Taliban met following a 3 week break and are expected to cover contentious issues such as power sharing and a ceasefire in another round of talks to begin on Saturday.
talks have begun just as U.S. forces prepare for another round of troop withdrawals from Afghanistan this month. In line with the February 2020 Doha Agreement with the Taliban. The agreement envisages the United States and its military coalition partners pulling troops out of Afghanistan and ending a 19-year-long war in exchange for Taliban security guarantees. In news from Sri Lanka, India's Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar on Thursday held meetings with Sri Lanka's top political leadership and business community as part of his three-day visit to Colombo in an effort to further expand ties and expedite strategic investments. India's Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar on Thursday continued bilateral engagements with top political leadership of Sri Lanka as part of his three-day official visit to the island nation. Taking to Twitter, Jashankar said he had productive meeting with Sri Lanka's Fisheries Minister Douglas Devananda to review cooperation in fisheries and with the State Minister of Estate Housing Jeevan Thondaman to discuss development programs in plantation areas. Jashankar also met leader of opposition Sajit Premadasa and former Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe to boost bilateral ties. Earlier on Wednesday, he called on Sri Lanka's Prime Minister Mahinda Rajpaksa. During his meeting with Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa on Wednesday, he expressed India will be a reliable partner in Sri Lanka's development as they renew cooperation for post-COVID health and economic recovery and expedite strategic investments. Jitan Devi, a craftswoman who makes handcrafted products from bamboo at a village in India's Jharkhand state, has changed the perspective of women's employment in a rural setup. In an effort for women empowerment, around 30 women are working with Devi and making products from bamboo. A tribal woman from India's eastern Jharkhand state has made a masiya of herself for other women in her area by reviving and evolving a lost local art of bamboo. Jeetan Devi, living in ruler area of an underdeveloped state, trained herself along with her husband in making of bamboo handicrafts and then took it upon herself to train other women like her in the region to make them independent. She has given a new identity to traditional bamboo products like baskets or bamboo ropes which lost their relevance in the world of convenient machine produced synthetic fiber based products. जब से ये काम के हम पकड़े हैं तब से हम लोग का बहुत परिवर्तन बदला गया है यहां तो 20 से 30 दीदी 60 दीदी है हम लोग सब मिल के काम करते हैं पंचायत भवन में या जहां समय मिलता है वहीं करते हैं हम लोग और मिल के एक ही साथ एक स्टोर रूम है वहां रखते हैं बाहर मार्केटिंग जाते हैं वहां सारे का बात सब जोड़ घटा करके फिर कैलकुलेटर से हम लोग जो बनता है वो अपना बनाते हैं घर का काम में तो घरेलू काम करते थे पहले आजकल हो रहा है कि बाहरी दुनिया भी भी देखना है अब बच्चा सबको तो पढ़ाई लिखाने में ज्यादा खर्चा हो रहा है तो कुछ कुछ आगे करेंगे तब तो कर नहीं सके पढ़ा नहीं सकेंगे हम लोग बच्चा सब तो इसीलिए कुछ कुछ बना रहे हैं हम लोग भी दीदी सब के साथ there is a huge demand of Jeetan Devi's bamboo handicrafts in the ruler as well as city area, especially among tourists and city dwellers who intend to take a piece of local tradition with them. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. India's Health Minister reviews preparedness for second COVID-19 vaccination dry run. Terrorist incidents in Pakistan contrary government's claims of establishing peace, says PDM chief. And Taliban says Doha agreement key to resolve Afghanistan conflict. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsia Newsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. 
सब्सक्राइब टैग टीवी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बटन